Hey everyone, this is David Chen, and I love the HBO original series Westworld. I've actually been talking about it a lot on a new podcast I'm hosting called Decoding Westworld. You can find that at decodingwestworld.com. I host that show with Joanna Robinson. One of the most popular theories about Westworld right now is that what we're seeing, the story of Westworld, is actually unfolding in a nonlinear fashion on the show. That is to say, what we're seeing is two distinct time periods. There's a time period that has Ford and the Man in Black and Maeve, uh, and Bernard and all those people and a separate timeline that has William and Logan and what they're going through with uh, Dolores. This adds some interesting color to the show. Let's talk about evidence why this might be true. First, let's start with what I like to call hard evidence. That is to say stuff that's fairly indisputable in terms of differences within these time periods. Firstly, when we see William arrive at Westworld for the first time, uh, the park shows numerous instances of a logo. That logo is then different in other instances that don't have William and Logan in them, such as when we see Sizemore uh, give his presentation, and of course in the opening credits as well. However, older sections of the park also seem to have the logo that William and Logan see when they first arrive. But come on, pixel peeping and scrutinizing logos, this is madness, right? Right? The biggest piece of evidence happened in season one, episode five, entitled Contrapasso, when Ed Harris's character, the man in black, drains Lawrence's blood and leaves him to die. And then in the next scene, when William and Logan are going on their adventure in Pariah, they meet El Lazo, AKA Lawrence, and he seems to be totally fine. Now, maybe there are multiple versions of hosts within the park, and maybe technicians were able to grab Lawrence and clean him up in time for their meeting with Logan and William, but I find that pretty unlikely. I think it's probably much more likely that what we're seeing is a previous timeline in which William and Logan first meet Lawrence, which is why the Man in Black refers to all the adventures they've had together. Most likely, the Man in Black is either William or Logan. Finally, after the hard evidence, there are a bunch of pieces of what I would like to call soft evidence. These are things that don't definitively establish two timelines, but I think at the very least hint at the same. Compare Teddy and William and Logan's experience going into Sweetwater for the first time. The bounty is different and Maeve does not show up at the saloon. Uh, so is that evidence? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Secondly, there's a scene in episode two when a mysterious voice tells Dolores to remember. It then transitions into William sleeping on the train about to enter the park for the first time. Do you remember? Could it be that the voice is telling her to remember the first time she became self-aware and that she's flashing back to this entire adventure that she had with Logan and William? I think it's entirely possible. Finally, this is just circumstantial, but we never see Ford or the Man in Black interact with William or Logan. We never see Maeve interact with William or Logan, but we do hear the Man in Black alluding to saving Westworld. Well, if you're looking for the moral of the story, you quite simply ask. <laughs> I need a shovel. The man I'd be asking died 35 years ago. Almost took this place with him. Almost, but not quite, thanks to me. Well, maybe he left something behind. I wonder what I would find if I opened you up. <laughs> Secondly, we see in the same episode, Logan describing what's going on with Westworld and the park is in pretty dire financial condition and needs saving. Everything out here is more raw, but it doesn't come cheap. Rumor is they are hemorrhaging cash. We're considering buying them out. Supposedly, this place was all started by a partnership. And then right before the park opened, one of the partners killed himself. Sent the park into a free fall. I mean, I don't know any of the details. I don't even know his name. Could it be that either Logan or William become the man in black and that they end up saving the park? I think it's entirely possible. Narratively, it would be pretty interesting for either William or Logan to become the man in black. And it's very possible that some kind of catastrophe happens at the park that 
propels them on the path to being in the Man in Black and wanting to get to the bottom of what's going on with the park. Those are some pieces of evidence that we are living in two different timelines when we watch Westworld. I'm sure I missed a bunch of evidence. If you have any, please let me know in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, please like and share it if you enjoyed.